You see that ant? It looks like two Hebrews looting in Baltimore. They got it stealing bread and stuff. You probably can't see it, but you know, the ants are looting from our house bread and all type of good treats. Matter of fact, let me follow him. He thinks he's getting away. You see him? He's carrying a bread, piece of bread about five times his size. You're probably wondering why I'm recording the ants. Well, it goes hand in hand what we're going to talk about today in this self-sufficiency video. The last time you saw me do a self-sufficiency video, I was uh, crushing about 12 pounds of grapes. And, and now, <clears throat> now, it is harvest time. You see these bell peppers? We got orange, we got red, we got green, more green, more red, and we got more green back there. So we're gonna pick these bad boys off and um, we're gonna pick these bad boys. Oop, we dropped them. Ugh. Fresh out of captivity. So harvesting is uh, not the um, Yeah, we're getting these bad boys. So you guys can see self-sufficiency even in captivity. We got about, about six bell peppers of all colors, orange, red, and green. Those are some excellent colors as you can see. We will be getting down today on some chutney and some lentil curry. Yes, the same lentils that Esau sold his birthright over. And um, it's going to be just as good. And people going to want to sell their birthright again for this. You see all our fruits and goodly things. But anyway, let's get to it. playing in the background you know I got those two for all the Hebrew artists out there conscious and non-conscious uh, anybody looking for production and stuff for all genres but anyway the reason why I was reading those uh, I was seeing those ants I don't know if you could see them because the camera had a glare but I'm going to show you why I was showing those ants. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. See what King Solomon said that we should do. Especially in these last days, we should do this. This is self-sufficiency, part 2. Uh... Proverbs 6 and 6. It says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider his ways. So we can't be a sluggard. We got to look at the ant and look at his ways. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. As you can see, it's harvest time. Uh, how wilt thou sleep? How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as an armed man. 
So with that being said, it's harvest time. And um, as you can see, this is like a little home set up. It's, we don't got corn fields and acres and acres of fields, but we got, we're working with the, um, the little bit we can. We take pride in it, especially during the harvest time. One more scripture, I'm gonna go to the Apocrypha. For those of you who don't know what the Apocrypha is, it is part of the original Bible. People call it the Apocrypha, that just means hidden, but it's really just the Old Testament. It's all Old Testament books. Sirach was a prophet who came back with Nehemiah and Ezra after the Babylon, uh, Babylon captivity. Sirach wrote the book of Ecclesiasticus. I'm going to chapter 7, verse 15. It says, uh, Hate not laborious work. And as you see the ants, they're doing laborious work carrying food across our house. I don't know where they're getting it from, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stop them. Because everything in here is clean. Um, hate not laborious work, neither husbandry, which the Most High have ordained. So gardening and husbandry is ordained by the Most High. When, um, when Adam sinned, and was kicked out of the garden. He was given a job. The first employment that he was given was to till the ground, till the earth. So that's ordained by the Most High. So even in captivity, I know you don't own land and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to have fields of, of vegetables and fruits. But um, we could um, easily buy flower pots and get some some practice, you know, like the scriptures say, rehearsing the righteous acts. Now let's come over here and see what wifey is doing with these bell peppers. Let's see what's going on. She chopped them up and she put them in the curry pot and she is going to do her thing. And we're going to have a happy Hebrew meal with this stuff. What is that? What is that? Onion powder. Onion powder. Okay, all right. Praise the most high. Okay, we got a little bit of apple pie right here she made from scratch. I prefer pumpkin, I mean, uh, pumpkin and sweet potato pie, but I'm not complaining. Oh, oh, I have to open it fully so you can see. This is, um... This is what we call American as apple pie from scratch. Literally. The dough, everything, the, the insides, the um, everything is from scratch. Everything you see here. And if you um, want to see what we have in here, we got lots of uh, lots of bottles. If you're curious to know, want to know what they're for, just go back to self-sufficiency and captivity, part one, and you will know what those bottles are for. And um, last video I showed you, these bell peppers were very small, so you are seeing. I'm gonna put the date on this video so you can see the progress we made since the last self-sufficiency video in captivity. And um, our bell peppers we planted down here still haven't came out yet. And people wonder, like, why are you planting so many bell peppers? Well, we decided to do the bell peppers because at the store, and the things is like a dollar to a piece. That's very expensive in this uh, last days. So we decided to grow them ourselves because the curries need bell peppers. And we're going to plant these tomatoes. We got a new tomato plant right here. We need tomatoes and bell peppers. Those are like my two favorite veggies. And uh, we're going to plant the tomatoes down here. You see the mint is still growing. I cleared this land of all the mint, but it's still popping out of there. But uh, and now, before I close, as usual, I would like to read the scripture that today's video is based on. Going to Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah 29. 
and verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. <coughs> <coughs> so, if you fall under this prophecy, you are from Jerusalem like I am. And you were taking slaves away from Jerusalem unto Babylon, which I was, my ancestors was, I'm still here. Um, this, this pertains to you. This is talking to you. Verse 5, it says, Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives, singular or plural, whatever. <laughs> Uh, beget sons and daughters Take wives for your sons And give your daughters to husbands That ye may bear sons and daughters That ye may be increased there And not diminished And seek the peace of the city Where I have caused you to be carried away captive And pray unto the Most High for it For in the peace thereof Shall ye have peace So even though we're in captivity the scriptures telling us to build houses, plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. So I understand we in captivity, a lot of us don't have the luxury of building houses and planting gardens. But if you don't, you need to go somewhere where you can. I mean, don't don't be don't be foolish and just be content with not having nothing. The most I told us that we're all those of us that were carried away, that we should be building houses, we should be planting gardens, even in captivity. Um, um, and it also says Seek the peace of the city Where I have caused you to be carried away captive It's not talking about It's not telling us to pray for Babylon It's telling us to pray for our communities Where we dwell within this captivity We always had communities Wherever every land that we were scattered We always had a, a Hebrew community Or an Israelite uh, community In Egypt in uh, West Africa and East Africa and Europe and Asia and we always traded with each other so this is very very imperative for us to be doing seeking the peace of our communities that we may have you know economic freedom and commerce and um, before I go uh, let me see how much time we got left Okay, we got two minutes. So I'm gonna wrap this up, make it quick. Uh, okay, to my brothers in California, my Latino brothers, my Chicano vatos, and my my Lokes, Damus, Pyrus, all the gang members out in California, put the guns down. Stop killing each other. You are white supremacists, whether you know it or not. All my brothers in the, in California. Put down the guns and stop pushing white supremacy. Okay? Anybody anybody in the gang right now, you, you are a white supremacist. And you're going to kill brown and black people, you in a gang, you think you tough and you, you hard, you, you are a white supremacist. Okay? That stuff was made to destroy our people. All our brothers that's uh, in Chicago and Cincinnati, put down the guns. You are killing brown and black babies. You are a white supremacist. You are... You are upholding and and and, um, and and establishing white supremacy. Uh, all you brothers that think you tough because you deal drugs and you you selling drugs and you got money and all that, you have sold out to the CIA. You have sold your people to the CIA. You are also a white supremacist. So put down the guns. Put down the drugs. Um, what else? Current events. Uh, Zion has been revealed. Go to Israel. Keep the feasts. We got three feasts we're supposed to appear before the Most High. Go to Israel to a small city called Arad in the Negev region. That is the biblical Jerusalem. If you don't believe me, go on my page. I got the full breakdown to it. You know, check out Kenyon Wilkerson on YouTube. Check out many people. I'm a wine, Yasha Allah. Uh, who else? Uh, check out the Watchman Hoshua. Many, many videos online you can check out. Um, last but not least, Rachel Dullazal, current events. Uh, Rachel Dullazal, no, we do not accept your application. Um, 
I know you really want to be one of us, but Revelations 2 and 9 is talking about you. It says, he knows the blasphemy, Christ says he knows the blasphemy of them that say they're Jews and they're not, or the synagogue of Satan. So Rachel Dullazal says she's black. She is saying that she is a Jew because the black people in America are the biblical Israelites. They are the real Jews. So she's saying that she's a Jew and she's not. She's blaspheming God when she says that. So no, we do not accept you. And I don't condone any brother that does. Okay, we have Rachel Dullazal, this message for you. We have thoroughly reviewed your application and sorry, you do not qualify. So with that, Shalom Israel, I'll see you in Zion, and we'll see you in the next video.